Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with a two-minute Chicago blues guitar lesson. This is another one that's not really quite Chicago blues. It's more down the Louisiana style, the Excello sound. I was listening to a, both the Lazy Lester original of Sugar Coated Love and also the Fabulous Thunderbirds version of Sugar Coated Love. And they're both great, and they both have this great beat and groove to it. And I thought we'd talk about that. And it might take not more than two minutes, too. So uh, everybody's doing their best, right? So uh, I'm doing it in E. And the, the cool thing about this is uh, you can really simplify if you want to. I was teaching some beginning st students, and um, I'm trying to like make things easy for the left hand. You could do everything practically with one finger. doesn't have to be which is like an A chord and an E chord you could just do it all with one finger here so I'm gonna uh, play it a little bit then you have the big other thing you do which is the G string um, the G note on the low E string Jimmy Vaughn plays this all the way through But you know you don't hear that quite as much on the original, so that's an interesting comparison. So um, anyway, it's like kind of an A open and slam down with your first finger on the second fret for the E. The main thing is take a look at the right hand. Just don't ever let up with the right hand. Don't even worry about the left hand so much. But this keeps going. I'm doing all downs except for. Uh, everything is all down other than that sorry about the dog he likes the blues so then here's your uh, rhythm our Jimmy Vaughn goes that's an A but um, on the, that's another one that's simpler on the Excello This is the coolest thing. This is something um, I may have referred to before, but here's a B, right? It's an A bar chord that's been moved up, B flat, B. So it's this A shape that's been moved up. But you know what? That was hard. Why well, fool with that, right? That's kind of a knuckle buster if you're not used to it. Um, with, with your uh, second finger on the D string, on the D note of the A string and then on the, the uh, sixth fret of the A string and then your pinky on the uh, sixth fret of the D string well guess what there's an easier way to do it and that is a third inversion with the seventh of the B chord in the bass Instead of doing this, he's just letting that be open. So it goes like this. She's a Notice how there's no turnaround. You don't hear this. That actually breaks the momentum. So they just threw it out the window. They decided not to do it. So I'm going to play it kind of slow. I'm using this cheat for the B7 chord with the A in the bass. That makes it a third inversion. It's the, a, a chord, a version is a chord where the root is not in the bass, but where a different note is in the bass, in this case the seventh in A. You hear this a lot in uh, Jimmy Reed all the time. Because it was easy. But it sounds great. So they did it the easy way. So let's start from the one. Notice there's only that one upstroke. Everything is down.
tonight and she's always on my mind. Go to four. That's sugar coated. time around that's the whole thing so have fun playing this song um, both versions are great uh, lazy Lester fabulous Thunderbirds it's a lot of fun and see you next week